we on. Wow. All right. Shalom. Shalom. First off, we give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, or Kakadash. Yahweh being the true name for the Father. Yahweh Shai being the name for his only begotten Son. The Lord Igly calls God and Jesus Christ. I want to give a double honors to our apostles, double honors to our elders, a great millstone that taught us the truth and will well. A scientist do hope that question is truth and honesty and sincerity. Uh, this is Brother Yahweh Sop and Brother. You're wrong. Um, we're a couple of brothers out of GMS, uh, Kansas City camp. Come to another sit down to the spirit power. How about you, Shai? And um, this week is going into the uh, spirit. This lesson uh, just came across uh, um, a quick uh, social media clip of a, a female rapper, a black woman by the name of Sexy Red. And she just admitted on our platform, on our Instagram, on live that she sold her soul to the elites, the Illuminati. OK, and around they, they were asked her, hey, did you, did you sell out? She laughed about it, made a joke. And someone in the background says, yeah, she sold it for a cheeseburger, <laughs> you know. And then she got on, she got on a serious tip and said, yeah, I did. And I can't get out and I don't want to get out. I'm making too much money. You know, she, you know, and that's how all of these uh, these people get in that mentality when they first get juiced in. And she said she just left like a Hollywood uh gala party or some shit like that. So she might have just got through doing some sacrificing type shit when she got on live and said that shit. You know? But that goes to show, man, we got we got evil um men and women of the nation of Israel that are gonna be judged, you know. And uh the spirit of this lesson wanna title it um the real life suicide squad. Okay. And if you don't know who the suicide squad is, it's a um it's a uh it's out of the comic books of DC. All right, it was a superhero team that was that was uh, compiled of um, multiple uh, villains or super villains of DC of the DC universe. All right, and they basically I think got like four or five of them on one team, and they were forced to go work for for the government and do government missions to take out other you know super villains that that rose to power. You know, um, that one movie that came out, the Suicide Squad. It was um. It had that one lady playing of Holly Quinn, you know, she was in love with Joker. You had Deadshot in it. That was the first one. Um, you had um, the dude. I forget. I don't know the characters' names, all of them. I know one of the guys. He was like an alligator man. Yeah. And uh, there was a couple others. Um, you had one dude that was working. He was basically like a, um, a special forces dude. Yeah, Rick Flag. Rick Flag, and you got um, you got the other lady that was a witch. You know, she ended up becoming the main villain they had to defeat. But they used her and uh, some dude that um, that had like a boomerang. He was like a, a perfect thief or some shit like that. Yeah. You know? yeah. But basically, um, when these people that get picked and selected to, to get involved in Hollywood, they're used as puppets just like that um, that comic book series going into the Suicide Squad. What they do is they, they pick criminals the worst of the worst of the plot that you can get, all right? And then they give them a bag, and they got to go work for these elites in Hollywood, and they execute their agenda on what they want the people to do. Yeah. Huh. You know, so um, selling your soul, man, is not worth it. Because in the movie, they showed you, you know, they really wanted to get out. They no longer wanted to be a part of that suicide squad. But they had they had the thing that you dig in the back of their brains that would explode if they tried anything. Right. And that's exactly how these celebrities work. You try anything, you say too much, they're gonna off you. You know, at first it might sound cool and you know, living that lifestyle. And that's how the criminals was that got picked for for the suicide squad. You know, once you get uh once you get noticed, they're gonna approach you. And they're going to use you as a tool to push, you know, the satanic agendas that they have and the brainwashing and the distraction techniques that they have. And if you try to leave, you're done, man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. So uh, if you want to go ahead and pull that precept, bro, we're going to get right into it through the spirit. Kind, kind. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 16. And uh, I apologize for this one here. Echo. I can still hear it on my end on the recording. But um, so lock it for that. This is uh, Matthew chapter 16, verse um, 24. It says, Then said Yahweh shot unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. 
and whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and whosoever shall lose his life for my sake shall find it. For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Right. So what, what value is it if you gain the whole world, but you don't have a soul? See, they don't understand the concept of not having a soul. You know, it means you don't have no you don't have any type of self-control over your own life anymore. OK, yeah. once you sell your soul, there's different ways that you can sell your soul. Like there's different characters on that Suicide Squad team. You know, yeah. you got Deadshot, who basically he's basically a hitman. And you got niggas that live a life that get paid to go kill other people, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. you, you do it enough. They'll recruit your ass on the, on the military and you'll be a hired hitman for Esau. You know, yeah. you got you got people that steal, you know. And they, they'll work for the government to go uh, take other people's stuff, <laughs> you know, rob, steal, and kill. All right. You got um, you got people that are set up as, as far as just straight up thugs, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and there's different characters on that Suicide Squad that represent that as well. Then you got the people that are set up to be whores and push that whoredom. Well, that represents Holly Quinn right there. That's the women, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's her. Just completely psychotic and crazy, and push that type of mentality. And the, the ultimate, the ultimate target is the nation of Israel. So they're using that squad to to target us, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you've seen that second one, out, but uh, they even had a character on there. I think it was a damn weasel, bro. It killed like twenty-seven children, bro. They, damn. <laughs> they recruited his ass and put him on the suicide squad, man. <laughs> <laughs> damn. You know. Damn, that that's the crazy. One, the second one was wild. We still had Harley Quinn, but so yeah, you saw grabbing pure, you know, niggas out there, man. That's willing to take a dollar to be, you know, to be wicked, basically. Con, con. Even that, uh, that other dude. What's the what's the special forces guy? What you said his name was? Oh, Rick Flag. Rick Flag. Rick Flag, Rick Flag man. He's he he represents you you niggas that want to join the military, man. Yeah. You know, you Uncle Tom dudes, they're thinking that hey, you selling your soul that way too. There's multiple ways, man, but ultimately it's just a trap. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, man. Scripture say it clearly, but what property you, man? You know, like yeah, you get some money on this end, but you know, once once that day comes, man, all of that shit is, it ain't gonna be I might have to get that scripture actually. It says uh there's no thought for the day of uh Prosperity in the day of adversity, something like that. And once that once that day comes, man, none of this shit is gonna be worth it, man. You know, right? Because once you get to that day where the Lord requires your soul, man, that's a that's a, a horrific day. You know, and you did all that for some some uh, some shekels, man. Right, Con, because um, you don't have to be a part of Hollywood to consider yourself uh, as far as you sold your soul. When you accept the beast system within your heart, you know, which is this government system and this this culture that Esau is pushing out upon the world. When you fully dive in and accept that and you reject, you know, the righteousness of your Bashim Yashai, the truth and the ways of walking in truth, you sold out. OK, because when the spiritual demon Satan came to your Shai in the wilderness, yeah, that wasn't no Hollywood coming to him. This was a one on one interaction. OK, so Satan can come to you on a, on a personal level and he says, wait, look, I'll give you all of this. I'll give you all the money. I'll give you this big ass house. I'll give you all the land you want, the job you want. You don't have to be a music career. You don't got to be on TV. But just whatever you deem as success in the physical world itself, you know, you're going to be faced with that temptation. I'm going to give you this if you just bow down and worship me, meaning you if you dive into the Momo agenda and you with it. You know, you dive into the, to the agenda of uh, of the conspiracies as far as business practices and things like that. And you, you, you forsake serving the Lord to go and do those things. You've chosen to bow down and worship Satan instead of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Yep. It means you sold out, man. That's right, man. Con, right. you got that precept? Con, this is the book of Job, chapter 27. Verse eight, for what is the hope of the hypocrite, though he hath gained, when the most high taketh away his soul? 
It says, will the Most High hear his cry when trouble cometh upon him? Will he delight himself in the Almighty? Will he always call upon the Most High? I will teach you by the hand of the Most High that which is with the Almighty will I not conceal. Right. That's basically backing up the uh, what was got in Matthew, man. You know, because because basically you have become a hypocrite, man. You know, mm -hmm. you would tell that you're a royal people, and then you go and serve the enemy, not for his own purpose, but to destroy your own people, man. That's like that's backwards as hell. You know, <laughs> right. And the Lord is basically very very clear on the matter of how He feels about those individuals, man. You know, y'all are all going to be visited, man. I don't care how uh, much of a bubble that you live in or how untouchable you feel you are. The Lord has already prom promised that day of darkness, man. That day of gloom. God, because uh, recently as well, um, it came out that um, uh, an ex-CIA uh, member uh, came out and, and, and told it. He said that hey, they, they did pay and set up specific celebrities to destroy the black the black people of the nation. Yeah. So this is a government entity that came out and said this, man. So then people like think this shit is cute. She don't, you know, sexy red is on live, you know, basically boasting that she sold out and didn't care because she's getting so much money. You don't understand how deep the rabbit hole goes and the damage that's actually done. Right. Right. Three little uh young young uh young girls, man. They're like eight years old, little harlots, man. Audio went out. Audio went out. Can you hear me now, bro? Can can. Yeah, he he shared that video, man, and it was three three children that basically is is copying to be some of these rapper celebrity women that are whores. Three three little girls, man. Mm -hmm. Too young to even be knowing about all this stuff, and how do they know about it? Because their parents allow them to listen to that that garbage. Their mothers are listening to that trash. You know, so mm -hmm. now you got eight year old children idolizing Megan Thee Stallion, Cardi B, um, Lil Kim, Nicki Minaj, Sexy Red. And yeah, it's meant yeah. to destroy our women. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on, go ahead, bro. This is the book of uh, First Timothy, chapter six. Uh, verse 7, for we brought nothing into this world, but it's certain that we can carry nothing out. Having food and raiment, let us be there with content. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare, and then to many foolish and hurtful lusts, which mm. drown men in destruction and perdition, <laughs> which is what they're doing, man. Yeah. All right. And then it says, for the love of money is the root of all evil. Because because us all we really take to get a nigga is some a Gucci bag, man. You know? Because Esau's getting the lowest of the low. He's going to the gutter and getting these, these women, these individuals, and he's putting them out on the forefront, you know? And that's right. all it takes is money to get to get Jake, you know, going, man. It's sad. That's right, man. It's the ultimate goal is to get you from from not calling upon your true powers, how about Shimmy Al Shai? Throughout history, anytime we started serving idols and accepting the traditions of the heathens that were around about us and forgetting our power, the Lord judged us and allowed the enemies to put us into slavery. So Esau wants to continue his stronghold, his his foot on the throat of our people. And the way that he, co he continues to have that strength is if our people refuse to turn to our power. And call upon your how about your shy and keep the commandments. If he can get us as a, a as the masses to do that, we become weak as a nation. This is the power that's in Hollywood. Okay, they eat, these elites know this. They know who we are. They know we're the Israelites, and they know they can continue to get us to sin. And they set up people that's going to do this. Then they gain more power from from the spiritual demon Satan, man. Mm -hmm. That's what it's all about, man. If you can run that precept back one more time, Bobby Shaw, the first first part of it. The first Timothy uh, chapter six, verse seven, for we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. Right. You can't take nothing out of this world with you, man. 
you know, because Sexy Ready mentioned that video. She said, yeah, I can't get out, but I don't care. I'm making too much money. OK, what are you going to do when the society collapses and all that money you can't use? Because cash is about to be done, man. The U.S. dollar is going to be gone. And there's going to come a time when all those millions that you got in the bank are worth less than a, a blade of grass, man. You're, you're yeah. better off just burning it for 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 uh, for heat, <laughs> right. you know, right. to keep warm because it's not going to be no damn electricity. Right. Okay. It depends on the conditions, too, man. Like if you're in an area where it's a drought, man. A man will sell his whole damn house for a bottle of water, man. You know? Right. The Lord, the Lord could do that very, very quickly, man. Especially in some of those areas out there in California where it's damn near drought already, man. You know? Uh, you got a few days without water, man, so people start going nuts. Oh, so yeah. Just like that, how much is the bottle of water going to be worth, man? It's gonna, people are going to be dying over it, basically. That's right, man. You could only last, uh, on average, about three days without water before you die of dehydration. So that the extent that people are going to go to to get a, to get a clean drink of water is going to be great. And you, you know you can't just turn on your faucet, you know, because guess what? The water plants are responsible for cleaning that water to allow it to where it's safe enough for you to drink. So when the when the system crashes, you think those plants are going to be running? You're not going to get any water pumped to your house, okay? And any other source of water that you do get that might be coming out of a faucet. You got a question if you can trust drinking it because it's not being cleaned by that plant. Yeah. You know? Go ahead with the next part of that precept, bro. It says, it says there, and having food and raiment, let us be there with content. So you're supposed to be satisfied with what you got, man. Okay. Now, unless you're in a situation to where you're basically homeless, it's understandable that you want a little bit more money to be comfortable. All right, but if you just live in like a middle class life and you got the means, or you got a car, you got a place that you're, you got a roof over your head, your lights is on, you got food in the refrigerator, be content. You don't need to chase, you know, riches, man. Get get enough money that you need to just take care of your, your family to give their basic needs. If everyone didn't get their food or clothes, shoes, they got, you know, a, a home to live in, you got a vehicle for transportation. You got a cell phone, your basic necessities. You shouldn't be in a spirit of wanting excess of necessities. You know, you shouldn't be in a spirit of, of wanting to be and your whole life wanting to be super rich and you have to die becoming extremely wealthy. That's not the mentality to be in. You're not being content and grateful for what you've been blessed with. Mm -hmm. and then you start pursuing other avenues that are satanic and wicked, such as these celebrities are doing. Uh, go ahead, bro. Verse 9, it says, But they that will be rich will fall into temptation and a snare. Right. So once you get that money, you fall into temptation and a snare. You start rubbing elbows or shoulders with the wrong people, man. You know, you start making extremely selfish decisions because once you get at the top and you get a certain level of money, you have to become selfish to maintain that level of wealth and income. Which is not righteousness, man. You know, you got you're gonna be coming across a lot of people that you know you just end up refusing to want to help. You start becoming high minded, and pride enters your heart, man. And the scriptures talk about how it's hard for a rich man to enter to the kingdom of Yahweh by Shai. Yeah, yeah. You know, so if you're not extremely rich and wealthy, you got less problems, man. Be satisfied as long as you got what you need. You get from day to day, man. Mm -hmm. And it says, verse 9 again, the day that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. You know, so that's basically what we're seeing with all of this, this gang culture, this rap culture. I was watching Charleston White now that people are mad at him for what he's saying. And uh, and they're talking about, well, it's your delivery. And he's like, y'all weren't worrying about delivery when, uh, you know, when Slim Thug or whoever the nigga, the young thug, you know, said he shot at his mama. So he kept his name out of his mouth. And that nigga really shot his mama in real life, man. Like said that in a video and in a song. <laughs> and now this nigga's in court because he actually did that. He confessed basically to a murder you know, on camera. 
and and these are the people that that are that are paid to basically be niggas, man, to go off. You know, that that's that's destruction, man. You know, and all of those songs are popular among Jake. You see, so Amalek is pulling the strings, getting Jake to to basically take a bag, <laughs> all right, to push poison and destruction onto his own people, man. You know. That's why it says today that we that rich fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. You know? And then it says, uh, verse 10, for the love of money is the root of all evil. Which uh, uh, covered it after. Go ahead, bro. It says, which while some covered it after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows <laughs> you know so basically you you uh you got your consolation and you fucked yourself man because <laughs> it's really just going to take one day for your entire net worth to go to zero all right and then you're in the hands of the enemy you know and then is the is the lord going to hear you in that, in that day you know that's the question you gotta ask uh, and the perfect example is uh is how Kanye West <laughs> got done, man. You know, yeah. here this guy went from billions, billions, you know, to overnight, not a millionaire at all. He still had some money left over because he still, you know, kept a little bit of the sellout. But you see how much he's sighing and crying out, wanting out of that industry, man. Yeah. You know, he desperately wanted to be accepted, regretting everything that he did. He sacrificed his own money. You know, so this is what these people do, and they always they're all the same. When they first get into that industry, they all proud, they boasting. Sexy Red is proud, boasting. Start approaching the level that Cardi B is approaching. Yeah. Cardi B is beginning to regret all of that shit. She's been on been on the camera crying. I don't want this life, you know. I just want to be a, I just want to be a mother. I just want to be. A, you, you weren't thinking about all that when you was twerking and shaking ass and shit, man. Doing all yeah. that demon yeah. shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so sexy red's gonna be doing singing the same tune. I give it probably about a year or two, man. Yeah, maybe less because she's coming in harder than Cardi B did. She's really going at going in on it, man. Yeah, yeah. Lord, my her at. God, I got a precept. Okay. It's the book of Leviticus 18 and 21. It says, And thou shalt not let any of thy seed pass through the fire to Molech, neither. Shalt thou profane the name of thy God? I am Yahweh. Now, when they go over there in Hollywood every year, over in California, they got a place called Bohemian Grove, yeah, and they yeah. basically got an idol there. And that's basically your modern day Molech. They even mm -hmm. got a, a a bull that they actually sacrifice people in and burn them at that place. And you got presidents and politicians from all over the world. That come to that lo location every year, and you got your top celebrities that are juiced in the most. They're required to go there. You know, LeBron James. You know, you got you got uh, Beyonce, Jay Z, all these all these big big top ones. They're required to go there and sacrifice, man. That's right. Yeah, right. oh, I uh, had a preset we was on earlier. Come on, go ahead, bro. This is uh, Isaiah chapter one, verse twenty one. How is the faithful city becoming harlot? It was full of judgment. Righteousness lodged in it, but now murderers. Thy silver is become dross, thy wine mixed with water. The princes are rebellious and, and companions of thieves. Everyone loveth gifts and followeth after rewards. All right, and that's basically talking about Jake, man, you know? You got a bunch of rebellious princes like Kanye West, man. He's a prime example of, of a rebellious prince. And it says that followeth after rewards, they judge not the fatherless, neither do it they cause the widow to come unto them. Right? Because he he shows you that he has the influence to start a church and do all of these things and, and, and speak. But what does he do, man? He becomes a super nigga, man. Right. What, do you, what, what happens when you give a nigga a billion or two billion dollars? He becomes a super nigga. Uh, that's right. See, and this is why the Lord tells us not to not to be a a, a whore after money, man. You know, because we're we're worth way more than this. And the scriptures tell us this entire world and in, in its entirety is not our rest. You know, so we shouldn't right. be looking forward to any any kind of riches of this world. 
to the extent to where you would uh, turn your back against the Lord. Man. God, God, you made a good point, you know, because uh, he had a talent to get a good following. You know, a couple of his uh, his tracks that he that really caught him on fire to, to go off was about, you know, in a, in a roundabout way. He was singing about the Lord. And I saw him, Jesus walks, you know. So Jake has the has the gift there, but they use it for 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 evil, man. Yeah, yeah. No, they have a deal. <laughs> they do believe in Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, but it's not according to knowledge, though, and they're not truly sincere. But the power, imagine the things that we could do if people like that actually use their gift for for righteousness, man. Mm -hmm. Imagine the amount of followings of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai that would be added. If yeah. they were keeping law, statute, commandments, singing about, you know, Hebrew Israelites, telling telling his, his following to go watch the prophets at the highways and hedges, then you would have millions of people tuning in. This place would go down way faster, man. Yeah. 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 You know? That's why it says everyone loveth gifts follow after rewards. They judge not the fatherless, man. You know, they don't they don't really see that there's, there's a larger message that needs to be pushed out. You know, besides, you know, Louis Vuitton bags and shit, you know, that's that's what he chose to push, man, with his influence. So, you know, like we were saying earlier, they got their consolation, you know. Right. We got another precept as well. Yeah. It's the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 10. Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust had not been altogether wiped away. So you're supposed to be uh, weary of these evil people. They're all of Amalekites. They're all of the heads of Esau that own all these industries. You know, it says like iron, as iron rusted. So this, at first, iron doesn't come with just rust on it. Especially if you bought it from a good source, it's going to come what they call fish. Season, man. You know, it's going to be oiled down. It's going to be shiny. It's going to be black. But eventually, you leave it to expose to the elements of moisture. Rust will will eventually show. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it may look good as so far as you first agreeing to a music music label or something like that, or agreeing to to reject the, the Lord to go get this job or go get this house, this mansion you always wanted to to take it fancy. It may look good. It may sound good. But eventually the rust is going to show. And that rust is getting ready to happen for all you people, man. All the wicked uh, that's, uh, of Israelites, of Jake, the Hebrew Israelites, that have chosen to sell your soul, that have chosen drugs, wickedness, man. Letting your kids indulge, indulge in the wickedness, man. You're eventually going to pay for all those. Yeah, yeah. That's right. It says, verse 12, it says, Set him not by thee, lest when he hath overthrown thee, he standeth up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat. And thou at last remember my words and be pricked therewith. So you're supposed to remember these things, man. Eventually, you know, this guy wants your blessing, your birthright. Speaking of so called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're the people of Israel, right? So the more you trust this devil, Esau, Edom, Eventually, he wants to try to take your place. And that's what he's done today. That's why he's over there in our land, proclaiming to be the real small hats, the J.E.W.s, you know? It says, verse 13, who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any such as come nigh wild beasts, right? Does anybody feel sorrow, sor sorry for a person that's a snake charmer, teasing that snake, playing with it and shit? Acting like he can't get bit. When he get bit, you're gonna be like, oh, well, that's what that nigga get. <laughs> right, right. And that's what you guys are doing when you accept the ways of the world, man. Mm -hmm. That's right, man. God, you got it, bro. Um, real quick, uh, Isaiah chapter thirty, verse one. It says, "Woe to the rebellious children," saith the Lord Jehovah, "that take counsel but not of me, and and cover." with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin, that walk to go down into Egypt, and had it not asked at my mouth, and to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. 
know, the back of the bullet point, man. That's what it really boils down to. And y'all trust Esau and the things that he pushes more so than you in your heritage, man, which which are the holy scriptures. You'll know that you're an Israelite and you'll still go off, know that this man is the devil, or will tell you at least, and you'll still in your spirit will just choose that nonsense, man. You know? A lot of Jake's still devoting, man. Still in 2023. Right. You know, like it, it should be even Edom might have bring that up. It was all bullshit, you know. So that's right, man. You know that the Lord, you know, the Lord is, is really just had to blind a lot of us, man. Because some of this to us is just completely obvious. You know? I don't know. And and these people know, man. You know, it's no excuse for Jake to be in and completely indulge in all this bullshit with these celebrities because you had multiple people on her on the comment board when she was asked. Multiple people asking her, "Did you sell out? You sold your soul?" Mm -hmm. Those questions didn't exist, you know, about ten years ago. Nobody was publicly asking celebrities about this shit, man. Yeah, yeah. It was something that was kind of known, and people that paid attention was going on world knew. But everybody knows about the Illuminati now. Everybody knows about, you know, Jeffrey Epstein and what what goes on with these politicians. So there's no excuse for Jake to continue and being obsessed with all this bullshit, man. Yeah. yeah. You still trying to sell out when you know what it is? That goes to show how evil your spirit is if you're choosing to sell out today because you've heard about the stuff that, that re that's required of these people in, in Hollywood. Right, right. Yeah, the Lord, the Lord uh, did a cold thing with that TikTok too, man, because a lot of those theories are flying out heavy on TikTok, man, heavy. God. You wouldn't believe how many hundreds of millions of views topics like this is getting, man. <laughs> You know, right. you're not going to see it on ABC News, though. You're not going to see it on CNN. But when you look at it, everybody is watching it, man. Like that whole trend, people were thinking about the Roman Empire. That came out. Why were people thinking about that, man? Because this truth is, is, is way more out there than you think it is, man. And those algorithms, yeah. I think, kind of control a lot of it. But he can't control some of them algorithms, man. Sometimes something goes viral and it's already racked up 2 million views before he catches it, you know? And he, then he can quote unquote shadow ban it or whatever, you know. And, and we believe a lot of our channels have been, uh, you know, messed with, so to speak. Right. Yeah, they, we're definitely shadow banned. But, you know, the spirit of the Lord still got, still gets it out there where people are still forced to see it. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. for the face value where we can look at the views and the likes and stuff being fucked with, we know we're shadow banned. But, mm -hmm. hey, it's really helping. You're, help, you're helping the truth, Esau. You're doing that bullshit. You just help in the sifting process because this isn't for everybody. We're not here for the masses. Yeah. Okay. We don't need the masses. The Lord has a small number. He's always dealt with a small number. Look at all the mighty battles of King David. How a small number of mighty men that took on hundreds of thousands. Yep. You know, so you think we give a shit about the, the followers? We really don't. <laughs> yeah. That's a good song. Know? God. No. You know, I'm a Baptist, man. He literally just up there in the wilderness, man, preaching. God. He had the spirit on him to go do what he got to do, man. If, if people came out there or not, and what happened? The Lord brought basically a whole multitude to him. <laughs> you know, right? Yep. They came out there to see him. He, you know, so you know the Lord know what he's doing, man. You know, God, God, man. So the ultimate man, you people got to understand. You know, we can get a shit about these damn celebrity shit. You know, this message we don't give a fuck. A second sexy red reads it, and all of a sudden, you know starts to believe whatever and that'd be beautiful if she did fully repent but ultimately it's not about it's not the point man the point is you can sell out and sell your soul on a personal level in this world of rejecting the truth and rejecting the law statute commands of how about shimmy shy you choosing a world a world of sin of living in this world and rejecting this faith you're selling out man and you know and you you become you becoming a part of the suicide squad and the esau is just going to use you man and ultimately you think you're going to get a paycheck for, for a moment or get a freedom for a moment, but you won't. He's just going to off you. That's how, he's get, that's how he gets down, man. Yeah. Mm. yeah. But uh, I didn't got any more presets, bro. If you got anything else, we're going to wrap it up. That's it, brother. Um, so with that, man, Lord's will, this lesson is edifying. We're going to go ahead and close out. Give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, and Kakadash. Double honors to our apostles, double honors to our elders, a great millstone. Without your truth, we will well. It's like to see hopeful that puts in his truth and our honest sincerity. Shalom.